I would like to uh, maybe get towards uh, talking about the future of like what sustainable forestry would actually look like. But before we get to that, I would like to just kind of ask you a little bit about, because we've been hearing in the news about uh, on the island, how they've been cutting down old growth trees inside of the forest there. And there's been a, a lot of controversy around it. Some people like going and, you know, uh, barricading, making barricades, other people getting mad at the barricades because they're worried about their jobs. I was wondering if you want to weigh in on that. Oh, I've got opinions about all this stuff, Derek. <laughs> oh, we, we can chat for hours and hours and hours. And one of the important things that's been forgotten in this old growth protest, and what is never mentioned, very rarely mentioned, is that we used to have 100,000 direct forestry jobs in this province and 20 years ago. Okay, we're down to 50,000 jobs now. And kind of depending on the data source, uh, the harvesting, the amount that we've harvested every year has either stayed the same as 20 years ago or it's actually gone up. Okay, so our workforce has been cut in half and the harvesting has either gone up or stayed the same. And nobody talks about that. Okay, so, you know, these, these, uh, these tree huggers are a threat to jobs. Give me a break. Okay, they, they do not pose a threat to jobs. And if they do, they're far less of a threat to jobs than rapacious capitalism that has automated mills and thrown tens of thousands of people out of work uh, right. to pad the bottom of these mega corps, right? Like in Prince George is like so many good examples here. We've lost, uh, we've lost over a thousand direct mill jobs in Prince George. Okay, there's still tons of just as much as getting cut now as it ever was. Where did all these jobs go? Uh, so I grew up working in a place called Clear Lake, which was a small mill, which is its claim to fame was uh, to be the most inefficient mill in British Columbia. <laughs> uh, every board was touched by it. Yeah, but we it made money. It made money up until the day Canfor closed it down. And there was a trailer park there where people lived or that raised families there, and they all got kicked out. Everybody got evicted. They basically just snuffed the town out off the map. You know, it had like, a couple hundred people lived there and it just everybody had to leave and all the production got shifted to polar which is a super mill in bear lake and the production there is 10 times as much as what clear lake could ever do so clear lake did about 10 logging truck loads a shift okay and they they employed 364 people this new mill does 100 logging truck loads a shift and it employs uh, we don't know the exact numbers, but we're going to say to be generous, 150 people. Okay, so it's it's half the it's half the employees. Not being generous, it's probably less than that. It's half the employees and ten times the production. So there you go. So anybody that's worried about jobs is full of crap. Okay, they're if they're worried about jobs, they would have shut down uh, these big super mills. They would have opposed. Uh, the BC Liberals getting rid of the local jobs, local logs for local mills requirement. You know, that was required. You had to cut, you had to process your trees at the local mill up until 2003. And then the, the BC Liberals, Kevin Falcon was probably behind it. He's running for the BC Liberal leadership. He uh, and whoever else, Rich Coleman, with, you know, these other people that don't care about communities, uh, they got rid of that requirement so that all the logs could be shipped to super mills. And then that paved the way for closing all these small mills. Uh, so the biggest, the biggest threat to jobs is, is all these huge corporations um, cutting costs, cutting jobs to maximize shareholder value, right? Like a couple of valleys, like a small amount of old growth is going to threaten jobs to the extent that these corporations have. Give me a break. Uh, that's not even close to being true. 